Hi everyone! Now as you know I don't usually do hauls but a few of you have been saying you'd like to see what I got from Japan so I'm going to divide it up into sweets and snacks, anime figures, random bits and pieces and then my clothes from Harajuku. Sweets and snacks. Actually it's all chocolate. First up is my new favourite Japanese snack Kinoko no Yama, which means mountain mushrooms and they're little biscuits that look like mushrooms with chocolate tops. They're just really good. And I also got some Dars, which is just white chocolate, but it's a lot less sickly than Milky Bar. It's still creamy, but it's not quite as sweet. And as you know, I'm always on the lookout for Japanese Kit Kats and I found melon and mascarpone flavour. Now these were all over the Japanese blogs a while ago and they actually do taste like fresh melon which was so surprising when it's chocolate and a Kit Kat but it tasted like fresh melon and not the artificial Japanese melon flavour which I do really like as well but these were so good. If you get a chance you should definitely try them. I also found my number one favourite Kit Kat flavour which is Sakura Matcha and I got this big box of 10 of them from the airport. It's a cherry blossom green tea flavour but it doesn't have the bitter taste of some matcha things. It's more fragrant and tastes a bit like a caramac actually. This is another new flavour, Mamiji Manju. Now a Mamiji Manju is a regional snack from the Hiroshima area and I tried one when we went to Miyajima. It's a bit like a taiyaki with red bean paste filling. I haven't tried these ones yet. And because it was October, I found pumpkin pudding Kit Kats and these are bakeable. And this is the best flavor of all the bakeable Kit Kats. And the packaging's really cute. It's got a really nice pumpkin spice flavor. Anime figures. Now the first two I saw in all the UFO catches and you can either try and win them or you can usually find them in shops nearby and they're usually not too expensive. Now I don't have any skills on UFO catches so I just decided to buy them. And the first one is Hatsune Miku and she's in a really cool outfit with glasses. And I also got Chino from Is the Order a Rabbit which I've been watching on Crunchyroll. And the other figures I got were all from Love Live. I got my favourite character, Maki-chan. And I also got Honika and Nico Nico Ni. <laughs> now these two were both used figures, but you really can't tell they're in absolutely perfect condition. They just came without the boxes. Honika was 860 yen and Nico was 1,290 yen, which is so much less than you pay for figures in the UK. Random bits and pieces. I went to the Tamagotchi store in Harajuku. I just love the Tamagotchi characters. They're so cute. And I got this pencil set, which is really colorful. It's got all the Tamagotchi characters on it. And this, which is a plushie holder for your Suka card, your train card. And if you're going to Tokyo, I definitely recommend you get one of these because it was so useful. You just clip it on your bag, then when you're going through the ticket barriers, you can just scan in and scan out and it's so useful and it's really cute. This time we actually managed to win some things from claw machines at last and Phil managed to win an Amuse hamster. These are my favourite, it's so cute and it's holding a little biscuit and he also won this pterodactyl which is sitting on a Gudetama egg. <laughs> he looks really funny. I got my favourite Japanese magazine, Kira magazine, which is all about alternative uh, Japanese fashion. It's all really colourful and cute. It's got a bit of Lolita, a bit of punky styles, a bit of everything and I just love looking through this and it's also a good way to practice your Japanese. We got these badges from the Persona 5 Cafe. You'll be able to see a lot more of it in my video. And of course, I've got Gachapon. They, I've got my Halloween Fuchikona cup and the rest are all Cafe de Hamu. I only got one duplicate and I managed to get the popcorn hamster, the one with the waffle and something else. There's also shops where you can buy gachapon but not in the capsules so you can choose which one you get and I got two hamster gachapon. There's a hamster in the taiyaki which was in my gachapon video and this one's a little hamster on a dango. <laughs> These are so cute and I'm going to turn them into necklaces like the hamster necklace that I wear all the time. And Phil got a monokuma from Danganronpa and a Rise from Persona 4 and when you press the button she says phrases from the game. 
Phil also got an art book from Catherine, the game, and a Gumpler kit. There were so many of these and they cost loads less than they do in the UK. He got some Dreamcast bits and pieces. There's a couple of games there. They were from a retro game shop in Akiba and a Dreamcast memory card. We found a really cool shop in Harajuku, you'll see it in my video. It's called B-Side Label and it sold nothing but stickers and they all had really cool designs. So we got some for Phil's band because they had ones that said Scar Band Skulls and they've got one for each of the instruments. Possibly the best purchase of the trip was from Book Off, which is a shop that sells used games, CDs, books, and they've got so many manga, but they're all in Japanese, so I can't read them. And I wasn't even looking for anything in particular, and I just spotted loads of really good CDs in the bargain section. Now, I like uh, ska punk music, which isn't really that popular anymore, so it's probably why these were so cheap, but they were all 280 yen, which is about £2.10, and I found Shakalabit. Kamuri, who've just signed to JPU Records, I'm going to be getting their new CD as well. And Yum Yum Orange, best band name ever. And Gold Betty, who are really good if you like ska punk with a female singer. And I also found an old Denpagumi Inc CD, and that was only 100 yen. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and my clothes from Harajuku are coming up in a separate video. I've got a few more videos about Disney World, and I am planning my next trip to Japan, so there'll be more Japan videos too. I'm also always on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for Japan chats. If you're looking for presents for anyone, have a look at my designs on cakeswithfaces.co.uk or cakeswithfaces on Etsy.